our morning round looking out for your child's eyes as they head back to school. About 40 percent of Americans are nearsighted. More than one third of teens and preteens are affected. Both the rate and severity are up from the early 1970s, but many children don't get the right eye exams. Dr. Ann Summers is practicing ophthalmologist and a spokesperson for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, vision screening requirements vary by state to state. Yes. Who needs to get screened and how often? Well, your pediatrician will check your newborn when your newborn is born. Uh, but then it varies. Kindergartens might check your child. Your pediatrician might do an annual exam for your child. But here's the shocking thing thing is lots of children become nearsighted and don't realize they're nearsighted. They don't complain. They don't know that that's normal vision. Mm -hmm. So a, a mother will bring a child in when they failed a screening test at kindergarten or at a preschool and they'll come in and the mother is shocked the child can't see the big E on the eye chart mm -hmm. or the child can't see the pictures. I have special pictures that I can yeah, show, show. What do you show a what do you smaller use for child. A smaller mm -hmm. child might look at a hand or if uh, uh, they, they can see what this is a picture of, a, a car, a truck, and identify that for me. That child is amazed when they then put on the glasses. What I'll do is I'll say, the child may not want glasses, mm -hmm. and I'll say, well, try these in my trial frame, and I can, these are like Lego glasses. You, <laughs> yes, these are you. <laughs> and then when they yes. can see better, then you realize they Then they realize, and the children are excited. The children say, Mom, you can see the individual leaves on the right. trees. And this is this serious, is because thrilling. actually, these kids, kids who sometimes don't know that they can't see, it can affect their academics. Can't Absolutely, it? it's a huge academic effect. And so, because if you can't see the blackboard, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't do well in school. If you you can't see, you can't do well in school. And visual learning is maybe 80% of learning. Mm -hmm. So you hear it, but if you can't write it down or you can't see it, you're not going to learn it. So having good vision is super important. Sometimes the children in third, fourth, fifth grade, they will say, I can't see the blackboard. Right. And simple glasses help. And it's very important if your child needs glasses, and 40% of Americans are, as you said, uh, nearsighted, mm -hmm. if your child needs glasses, there's a positive spin to it, which is, with these glasses, and I can show them in the trial frames, with these glasses, yeah. you can see better for school, for sports, for video games. You're going to hit that baseball. <laughs> You're going to play better soccer. So it's a very do, positive experience. How do parents ask for this? They walk in and say, I want a screening. I want an exam. I want something specific. Excellent question. Your school usually does an, an eye screening, but if you feel like there's a problem, if you see the symptoms of a problem, your child is squinting, mm -hmm. your child is sitting very close to the television or the video, uh, your child is resisting reading. Sometimes kids don't want to read, they get a headache reading, they don't enjoy reading, they can't see well. If you feel there's a problem, mm -hmm. there definitely should be a screening. Okay. If they fail the screening, bring them to an ophthalmologist. Okay. And bring we'll do a complete you. eye exam where we test not just the distance vision mm -hmm. and the near vision, but we do a complete eye exam inside the eye. Good advice. Thank um, you very much, doctor. We're going to have to leave it there.